Uh, now, totally changing gears here, uh, we can see uh, on one screen, or in one pattern, uh, approximately 15 to 20 wasted man years. This is, uh, <laughs> this was all of the oscillator technology that was known uh, as of 12 years ago. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, the ingenuity in here is, you know, is just insane. Uh, it's just so much cleverness uh, kind of wasted. Uh, if we go in on the eights in particular, <laughs> um, and just run them, you know, except, uh, I guess, I'm like, oh gosh, what happened to the auto scale? Uh, uh, so how do I make that stuff? Uh, control, don't do that. Uh, control, uh, don't do that. And now we can kind of take over the, uh, the control of this again. Where are the eights? Uh, there they are. Okay, so now we run at this speed there. There's nice, nice reasonable speed. So we see there are kind of two different, here's Coke's Galaxy right here. Uh, again, that, that, that's the emblem of the Dolly program. This is the big beacon that, that Conway found. Now, Conway and I both in, independently found this thing, which is uh, one of these so called billiard table. He, he named it billiard table oscillator. Uh, very disparagingly, because you just build a box. It's a desk type of exercise. It's very artificial. It doesn't have anything to do with, with you know, natural formations. Uh, and you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's all it does. Okay, so uh, you build a box with stabilizers around it. However, there is this Canadian maniac who says, "What do you mean unnatural? Okay, I can uh, I can just smash wires together uh, and and make one of those things. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is perfect magic. I mean, this is like building a watch by shooting bullets at each other. <laughs> and, and you can just single step it till you're blue in the face. He can try to explain how he does this. If he could do this in chemistry, he'd have three Nobel prizes. Uh, I just don't know. You know it just totally amazes me. Uh, so uh, now we'll totally shift gears again. Uh, but I, I invite you to get this pattern and single step it 100 times and just get it and roll it. <coughs> Uh, this is a, a really strange pattern, a very simple thing, and, uh, and yet it is, it is interesting enough to defeat Gauff, believe it or not. Uh, what I need to do here is, is tee it and, uh, and hyperspeed it. I guess I have to actually do that here. Um, like so, maybe. Like this. Okay, so what's happening is we've got two uh, space rates flying out here. By the way, space rate is a term from uh, the PDB-1. Uh, it refers to the space war tactic of flying backward and leaving a very dense stream of uh, uh, torpedoes. And so uh, cover trains that just make waves of gliders have become uh, called space rates. And uh, this thing, these gliders are shoving back and forth between these expanding walls of uh, reflecting gliders. And each round trip takes nine times longer than previous. But it also moves one half a diagonal into the southwest. Uh, and therefore, over the eons, every cell in the universe is eventually going to be aperiodically uh, disturbed by gliders going back and forth. Uh, because yeah, we're making more and more of them over here. I guess I'm going to think about some more. Uh, and uh, this would be true, except that there was this block that I put. Oops, where is it? Uh, I may have to. Oh, no, it's just M. Uh, yeah, this block here, there's a right in the middle of everything. Uh, and uh, I'd like to zoom this block up again. It turns out that since these gliders are very, very gradually, I mean really gradually, uh, making their way toward this block, uh, eventually one of them will graze this block and move at a knight's move and destroy that glider. And the knight's move will be this one. So that means that the next glider will be destroyed ever so slightly closer to the source of the gliders, but at an enormous time in the future. So this block will eventually destroy every one of those shuttling gliders, but <clears throat> exponentially less often. And the result is that instead of the entire universe being aperiodically disturbed by shuttling gliders, the entire universe will be eventually empty. Let's say any particular cell in the universe will be eventually empty forever, even though the population is linearly increasing. And I'll attempt to demonstrate this uh, by taking this, uh, this block and duplicating it 54 diagonal units uh, to the up and right. So uh, I'll just say copy B and move this thing over. So here's 10, 20, 30, uh, like so. And then we'll go up here, uh, 24, and it should look right about there. Uh, and so if uh, you don't really need to get this right, because otherwise we'll just 1, 2, 30, yeah, yeah. So let's try this. So now what I need to do is using the same cursor, I need to get these guys, and let's see, I'll just type an S. Okay, fine. 
Okay, so now I've shrunk the selection. Now we can keep our eye on those guys uh, and, uh, and shrink it way down. Okay, so now we've got uh, we've got this extra block over here. This block is never going to matter down here. It's just to make a green box. Okay, so now we'll let this thing run, and we need to have it stop scaling like that. So sorry about that. Control, stop auto fitting. Uh, how do we get back to the oh, I just zoom the dick inside of here on the end. Uh, there it is. Okay, so now, uh, now I need to run this thing really hard. Uh, so we'll run the thing uh, like so. It's, okay, so now what's it doing? It's, yeah, okay, so now it's hyperspeed. Actually, I think I can hurry it along here. Uh, let's see, what do I got? I need a step size of about 2 to the 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, we've already done it. Okay, see that? That block is no longer in the corner of the green square. You see, it's been knocked out at a knight's move. And believe it or not, even though it looks like it's sort of backwards, it's actually a knight's move closer. Uh, okay, so, uh, and if you let this thing run all night uh, at hyperspeed, that block is not going to move again. Uh, but still, it's really going to delete all of the blocks. Okay, so, uh, you, so you, you, there's no, you can't even come close to, to, uh, to watching it happen. Uh, here's another, uh, this is based on the period 46 technology. Uh, let's see, that, uh, we've got uh, this loop of gliders that go around and, and they enable temporarily. They don't actually interfere with those, those spaceships, but they, they, they come on a switch that turns the spaceships on and off. So the result is that, if we let this thing just warm up a bit and then zoom it back, it's a shift register random number generator. Uh, and, uh, and so it, it's actually counting this loop through almost every possible binary state. And uh, uh, if we uh, you know, just let, after a while, you'll start to see you know, longer and longer bursts. Uh, and period is uh, about half a million spaceships, or you know, it was about uh, 20 million or something uh, you know, life generations. But if you just uh, if you just take this thing and uh, and lengthen this loop, like make a little space filling curve out here, uh, then you get an eons cover. Okay, you just get you know, it's huge. Now here's something that maybe nobody here has ever seen. Uh, this is the third glider deck. Uh, that was, you, know, the, you find a period 30 oscillator, you make a period 30 gun. You find a period 46 oscillator, you make a 46 gun. You find a period 100 oscillator, you make this. This was the simplest thing I could figure out to make out of a period 100 oscillator. Uh, let me uh, again turn off the hyperspeed here. I just want this thing to run. And it gets faster and faster and faster. Uh, I think that's nice. And then, uh, up a little. Okay, so what's going on here is uh, it's, it's extremely difficult to coax a profit out of one of these period 100 oscillators. These, these little bricks here are the period 100 oscillators. And they serve as reflectors and they serve as these amplifier stages. And what happens is the gliders smash together uh, and make uh, spaceships. The spaceships fly through the amplifier stages and create new gliders. And every single glider in this entire pattern is absolutely essential. And uh, that's easily demonstrated by going over here and deleting one. Okay, so for instance, we just take this one right here and uh, just control X. Okay, there, there's a hole there now. Uh, and now I'll tell it to go, and I'll tell it maybe to go faster, and, uh, and I'll shrink down a little bit here. And you will see that not it doesn't just shut down. Uh, it actually is blowing up in a chain reaction. Okay, it's destroying this. <laughs> And the reason for that is that these, these reflectors um, are, uh, are these large objects. And if one of them does blow up, um, then it's going to, oh, here's one that's actually working still, okay. But if one of them does blow up, it's going to throw gliders back the, down the vis invisible wires and probably blow up, you know, the die in the previous turn. So I think this totally, totally shreds itself. And this is basically what I saw for weeks. Uh, because, you know, every night I would start it off and every morning I would come back and I would find this train wreck. And, uh, and, and then I would tweak the wire links to try to cause two gliders not to collide, but they didn't know where the you know, first disaster happened. And, uh, and then yeah, after many, many iterations, I got it to work. But then nobody saw it practically because this thing was not only too big for most people to run, it was too big to email. I mean, nowadays an empty message is bigger than this, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but in those days, yeah, this is an unthinkable thing. I mean, you've seen somebody's disk allocation if you mailed it to them. So, uh, 